What's up guys, here we are in Whistler on one of my local trails. You guys love the last how-to video so much that today we're doing another how-to video, but this time instead of scrubs, we're doing shrouts. Everybody loves a good shrout, looks cool, makes you look like you're going fast, they're fun to do, trail builders hate them, but today we're gonna use this corner, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it, and then you guys can go and try it at home. Let's get it. Oh, biker. This is important for this. I make it look cool, so I'm gonna put a lot of dirt in the way. It's not particularly dusty today. Trails are kind of tacky and padded down, so to make it look cool for everybody. Yeah, let's, let's see what kind of dirt we're working with here. A little bit acidic. Not too bad though, tacky. Yeah, it's been here for about 250 years. You put too much salt on something, a little bit too much hot sauce. That's what that tastes like, salt or limp. It's like a warhead, natural warhead. Try it at home, it tastes great. Yep. Less of a shrout, more of a roost. Okay, ready? Am I good? Can yep. I stand here? Okay. So, okay, am I too far away? This is the corner in question. All right. Yep. So here we are, this is our corner. This is the corner in question. Um, it's a pretty basic turn, like just a left hand, small berm. It's pretty soft here, like really sandy, so the dirt's really easy to push off of. You have a lot of feedback, so you're able to actually roost it quite easily. It's not as much of a shrout because the underneath is actually quite soft, so you don't get that real rah, but you still get the same sensation of the back wheel sliding through the corner. And right now, what I'll explain to you is um, how you make that happen. The first thing you do need to know about roosting or shrouting is that most of the time, you're actually cornering incorrectly, but it does look cool and it is a lot of fun. I can't deny that. So the very first step is the in-run. Um, same, as, same as doing scrubs, the most important thing is how you line up your turn. So the entrance for this stuff is super easy. You just ride in a straight line. You make sure you're heading right for the apex of the corner. So sort of keep your eyes on where the sharpest bit of the turn is. To make it really easy on yourself, what you can do is tee the corner off to like a 45 degree angle. And so from where I'm standing, the corner's way over here, but if you come in straight enough and you just turn really late, you're gonna force your bike through the turn. Um, and then section two, we'll call the apex. So, yeah. It's from about this line to this line, and this is where you're doing all of your turning. Um, it's about a five foot spot. You can see where my mark actually is. I've done all my turning in this little section. So from this line, what you wanna do is you get into the apex and you start turning your shoulders and your head towards the exit. Um, and as you're doing that, you're trying to follow through with the rest of your body, but instead of just riding it like a regular corner, you're gonna push as hard as you can into your feet, into your hips, and try and push that back wheel up the berm. And because it's a berm and because this one's sand, it's, there's a lot of give, it's really easy to do. Um, and when you do that, your back wheel's gonna slide, and your front wheel will already be carrying out. So your back wheel is going the opposite direction as your front wheel. So your front wheel is gonna be coming out this way and your back wheel is gonna be going like that, basically. Perpendicular. Third part is section three, comes to here, and we'll call that the exit. And the main goal of the exit on a real fast, real hard shrout is surviving because what can happen is your back tire can go over the top of the berm because you push too hard out. Um, your tire can explode on a steeper corner. Your rear end can just fully slide out on you on a slipperier corner. There's a lot of things that can happen. And on something like this, which is so easy, all you have to really do is push out and then your weight will carry. Um, so those are the three most important parts of shrouping. The entry, the apex, and the exit. Um, well, if you guys go to try this, if you guys want to try this at home, I hope that you guys exercise caution and take it slowly so you come into a corner. Like this is actually a perfect corner to learn how to practice this. Um, it's super soft, good dirt, really easy, straightforward corner. Um, if you fall, there's not really much going to happen. Try this at home, but build up slowly and work on the smaller stuff and then get better and better and better and better and better and better. And then eventually you can go do roosts where you're shooting dirt dirt spouts up to the friggin moon
I hope this was informative and helpful to you guys. You guys can take all of this stuff home, practice it, get better and better and better, and you'll be on your way to your first roost or shrimp experience. Um, for me, it's still fun every single time. Drop a comment below if you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more comment. More content! <laughs>